Oh, it's finally the end of the 38th anniversary week. It's been a pretty solid week of episodes, do you reckon, Piggy? Yeah, they should have done Monday's episode today, but... They didn't. But... <laughs> they didn't. Uh, yeah. I, I it was a slow roller coaster. It went down and down and it kind of did not go back up. Yeah, we didn't really reach the heights of Monday's episode, did we? And I mean, you could tell because Monday's was the only episode that they didn't release early on iPlayer. So you had to watch it live. Um, so, yeah, you can see. But honestly, the main plot points throughout the, throughout the day's episode, though, it's just a continuation of Sharon, Keanu and Chelsea and more scenes between Denise, Jack and Ravi. It's, uh, like I said, it's not the most uh, exciting <laughs> part. It's, it's been fun. It's been enjoyable. But let's actually get into what happened. So, this episode, Keanu and Sharon do head to Peggy's and they go for a little date. But Keanu doesn't know that both of them know exactly what went on. <laughs> So he sat there at the table and Sharon's like, you know what my favorite quality is? Honesty. I like it when people are honest and open. And then Keanu's like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep, totally know exactly what you're saying. I agree. <laughs> okay. And then immediately gets a drink thrown in his face <laughs> because he has made a big mistake. Yeah, having a child will do that again. You know. <laughs> yeah, the mistakes. Oh, well. Um, but regardless, this then leads for Sharon to storm off and Keanu's like, come on, let's talk. You're the only one I love. You're my family. And Sharon's I, like, no. Not I, today. I had to do it. <laughs> I, I had to redo it. Do you remember when Batista turned on Rey Mysterio and he grabs him <laughs> and he screams, you were supposed to be my friend? <laughs> Whenever something like this happens in EastEnders, I always put, you were supposed to be my... and then insert. So for this, <laughs> I put in on the notes, you were supposed to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just him grabbing Sharon and it's screaming that. <laughs> it's what makes it funny. <laughs> Quite impressive. You were supposed to be my girlfriend. To think that Breath. Keanu <laughs> has went from being fun in one episode to spending the rest of the episode being a twat. Being <laughs> like, the people bitch. It's just he had one good episode. You couldn't have written him better for one more episode, lads. It's a thirty eighth anniversary week. And it's been stunk up by Keanu. But I and just, mm. I just love how clueless Keanu is. <laughs> like, like Sharon's like Sh Sh Sharon's like honesty is a great thing to have in a man. You know, I love when men are honest. I love the fact that you've never lied to me. Keanu, get the bloody hint that you know <laughs> that you've stepped with Chelsea. <laughs> He's just that I don't know if you know there's a meme of Kurt Angle before yes. he gets punched by Triple yes, H. Yes, just oblivious fully. Yeah, it's showing your photos not that of Keanu. He's just oblivious before he gets punched. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just... I don't even know if he's like... Yeah, he's obviously trying to hide it a bit, but he just didn't do a good job. And obviously... He yeah. Uh, oh, no, pull up was... the comments. Pull up the what? Pull up the comments for the Denise and Ravi. What are the extender sub Reddit, uh, Reddit saying this time? Oh god, alright. I mean, hold on. Let's just finish up Keanu, Sharon and Chelsea. Keanu goes back to the pub looking down on his luck. And Chelsea kind of went, hey. It doesn't have to be a one-off though, does it? And Keanu's like, oh boy. So here we go. Sharon has went, I'm done with you Keanu. And Ke Keanu's like, well. <laughs> Hello, Chelsea. <laughs> the, the giga chat of Keanu has returned. How is he just going... Keanu, this is what got you in trouble last time. Why <laughs> are you doing it again? But hopefully that is the door shut on... Uh, on Keanu. On Keanu for now. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
Um, someone has suggested that... Oh, sound. Now it's going to be off and on again. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. By my next episode, Keanu would have slept with Chelsea again. They'll get back together and break up again. Indeed, that's probably going to happen, let's be honest. It's going to be like when... It was, when was it when Frank Butcher... And he was sleeping with both Pat Butcher and Peggy, Peggy Mitchell. That's what's going to be like. It's <laughs> going to be Keanu sleeping with both Chelsea and Sharon. Yeah. Ooh. And obviously, Ravi and Denise and Jack continued. At the end of the last episode, Jav... Jaffy? <laughs> Jack and Ravi. Javi. Oh. Uh, went ahead and he confronted her like what's this card and then they had this big argument just like this right you don't know how hard it is being your wife i feel like garbage most of the days and then jack starts going like you know what go just go <laughs> don't want to see you anymore then so he, he sends her he sends himself to get cut essentially which was funny um and it just kind of i don't know <laughs> it, like she went to the hotel went and saw ravi had a bit of a kiss gave in to temptation but then kind of went ah i don't know if this is it G. do you reckon it's out of the table <laughs> Do you reckon it? Do you reckon it's it's just out of loyalty and not want? Because in the because obviously I'll I'll just say the final bit and we can wrap through it all. Because obviously she she went back to Jack. They had a nice little moment. They said they loved each other, and then she went to bed, looked over at Jack, who rolled over, said good night, and she just kind of looked like sad, just like man. Is this it? Is this really it? Are we gonna have Denise? Denise and Ravi are getting together. They're just doing it very slowly. I think. I think so. But I also can't tell. But also, yeah. Do you reckon? Do you reckon the the cliffhanger at the end of this episode is Denise just going like, ah bollocks! I could have had all that. Like, where's all the excitement? What do you reckon it meant? She was just sad. That's all I can say. She was sad. She was like, I could have had sex tonight, but... <laughs> but instead, a hunky I'm man. laid in my bed with a husband who just didn't didn't give him a kiss. Just went, no, rolled over. You know what would have completed it? Do you know what would have completed it? Yeah. If Jack started scratching his arse and went, good night. Just <laughs> scratches his arse and he's like, good night. And then farts. <laughs> <laughs> Just, good night. I love you, Denise. <sighs> <sighs> that one's for you. married life. Starts lifts up, wafting up the covers. Oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Who's, who's done bloody that? Hell, you, Denise, was you that you? <laughs> All right, before we go into complete, complete child humor. Um. No, but you have to admit that would have been a hilarious way to end the episode. <laughs> because that's what a husband would do. They yeah. would scratch the garage, then shit themselves. Well, not <laughs> literally shit themselves. Far out. And then go to say goodnight. Yeah. <laughs> and so... I've done our favourite thing that we like to do. We, we've said our yes. opinions on Denise and Ravi. I pulled up the old EastEnders subreddit. And we're getting some opinions on Ravi and Denise. Because so far, the rhetoric around it has been very like, oh, they're just, he's just, he's stalking her. He's stalking her. She's clearly shown no interest. And I'm like, listen, all right, home slice. She went to the hotel room, ready to shag. Well, ready to do something. Maybe not shag. Obviously, that's not expected. But that also wasn't being like... <laughs> Ravi was very like, if you want to do this, we can do it. If you don't want to do it, it's a bit upsetting, but that's fine. Like, I'm not going to, like, blackmail you into it. Like, Ravi's actually been pretty reasonable. 
The place where it kind of goes into stalking territory is if he proceeds to continue to follow her around, like, religiously. Like, the, the scene where, he, where he's, like, outside their house, ringing the phone, hoping there would be a response. I get, I get that you'd want to make sure she got back safe, but also... Let her make the next move if it happens. You know, you can't really force this next one. Mm -hmm. died, you can't force it. Like, you know, Denise, uh, Ravi's been pretty respectful so far. He's been pretty, like, he's been very, like... Basically, I just don't understand why people are saying that, that they're trying to stalk her. So this has been a reciprocal dynamic so far. Ravi would not have continued if Denise just went, no. But Denise kind of kept coming back like, oh, hello, Ravi. And then Ravi's like, oh, yes, Denise. But, uh... Yeah, someone suggests that this may become like an affair type thing. But he's not getting the message. And maybe, uh... Maybe it'll turn into like the turn into some big, some big like Jack will have to step in and Ravi's probably going to get arrested for stalking. Not happening, I'll be honest. This theory did not get much traction. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, nobody really uh, looked at it. Um, I really no. <laughs> wow. I found That's... a very strong Jack fan, and I do not understand it. But I honestly, I'll oh, just, go on, I'll read let them it. Exist. No, I can't. I'll be, I'll be reading go it. Go on, three read hours. it. Read, read it. I'm not reading it. Read it. It's just someone essentially saying that Jack is probably gonna start becoming like a. Uh, uh, Jim, like Jim Browning. Browning? Browning, Jesus. Well, what was Jim Browning, a stalker? No, he was their, uh, he, he was their, their dad. He was, you know, he was, oh, he right. was a fairly old, he, he was Dot's husband. Okay. Uh, but when introduced, he was a bit more of like a hard nut, fairly abusive of a parent, really. Gave all of the kids a pretty rough time was a prolific racist initially but then became mate to patrick and that was all under the rug um but just a bit kind of bit controlling type deal but oh, someone yeah, was pretty much like no 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 but jack really he's, these are all about the complexities of life it's all it's all he's just a very complex and nuanced character and it's like he's just shouting at everyone He's just yelling at everyone. Amy could like stand up wrong and he'd be like, sit down. Buddy, I just just got up. I just, I just farted on the way out. Sorry. Like, what, what do you want from me? Like, he's a mediocre parent. He's a garbage husband. Well, not maybe not garbage in terms of the square. Nish is a garbage husband. Jack is just a pretty bad one. Yeah. I suppose, the other, yeah, just vaguely dipping into the Nish and Suki. Uh, Nish proceeded to demean and degrade Suki in front of everybody in the pub. Steve was just kind of like, he doesn't have to talk to you like that. But she just cried. So. Not really much to report. Also, <laughs> there's a complete side note. We'll probably be the final bit of the episode, but... When he, when Nish offered them a full, like, offered them a, a whole chop, or like a full chop, I thought he meant like, like one, one of the chicken chops that they just bought. I was like, God damn, that's one hell of a, like, sorry. Because <laughs> they, they bought a bunch of the, 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 like, fast food chicken shop, and I was like, Jesus Christ. But no, instead you just get to buy anything from our little corner shop. Sound. <laughs> that was just a funny note of the episode. Anything else happened today that's worth talking about? Hmm. Uh, no. 
Yeah, not really. It wasn't that interesting. It was a fine ep It was a fine episode, but it wasn't the best. Like I said, we are on. A, we are <laughs> the 38th anniversary week has been a bit of a roller coaster. Except we started at the highest point and just proceeded to fall. Yeah. We have been watching Wolford. You've been watching Wolford as well. I have been Ash, and I've been joined by Piggy. Bonjour, um, senior. And make sure to watch the rating Ryan Malloy's 2023 return on the tomorrow, on the Friday. And uh, okay. the podcast, hopefully on the Saturday, maybe on the Sunday. Depends how busy I am. <laughs> See you then. Basically... Basically, before we go, don't forget to do a jack and scratch your ass and do a fart. Thank you. <laughs>